Lips. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about my recent eyebrow growing experience. I've done many videos in the past of how I grow my eyebrows back and this one's a little different. Um, this is going to be maybe a lengthy um, video and this is going to be pretty much just all talk through. I do have videos if you're interested on seeing how and what I use to grow my brows back. I'll link both of them down below. What I did is I grew my brows back and the difference with this time is that the previous times that I've grown my eyebrows back, I start plucking around them and I think I know what I'm doing and I start shaping them my own way. But that's how I got here in the first place. I over plucked and plucked them wrong. This time I did not pluck any eyebrows whatsoever. My brows just were crazy. So after you've been plucking your brows for so, so long, and I've been plucking for 19, almost 20 years, your brow hair is not going to grow back the same. Some hair might not grow back in certain areas, and that's my problem. I'm missing hair like towards the front hair. That's why this has to be filled in a little more versus like the back end right here. It's been about roughly a month and a half, I'm going to say, because it was over Thanksgiving weekend that I went to go see Kelly. So now my brows have grown back. Unfortunately, she lives in LA and I live in Vegas and I don't trust anybody to trim my brows. So I've been trimming them. So my brows look completely different from when she trimmed them. So I will be showing you, you know, pictures, little inserts of what my brows look like when she trimmed them, which were freaking amazing. Right now, I'm just trying to maintain them on my own. And I am hoping to go back and see her, you know, if not this time I fly to LA um, in two weeks, hopefully in next month. After growing my brows back for like the first five or six weeks, I was starting to get really anxious and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? So I started looking into who I was going to go, you know, have my brows done by. And of course it was either going to be Anastasia or it was going to be Kelly. Well, immediately when I went to Kelly's Instagram and I saw all of her videos, her before and afters, I was just like, it's Kelly. And I know that a lot of people might be like, Anastasia. Well, Anastasia has makeup and all that stuff, but I honestly, I might be wrong, but Anastasia doesn't like sit there and do everybody's brows. Like, I just feel like Kelly does brows more on a daily basis and like has more hands-on experience. And after from what I saw, and this is like my, my, um, my opinion because I know somebody might get judgy, but I just felt like Kelly was better at it and not bashing Anastasia and Anyway, I just felt like the work that she did was something that I, you know, would be happy with. My treat to myself was going to fly out to California and have Kelly do my brows and um, just fly back home. It was going to be like my a birthday gift to myself because after almost 20 years of having effed up eyebrows from the chola brows to the no brows to the hella dark brows to the bushy brows to the thin brows I said you know what this is like the least that you can do for yourself if after almost 20 years you decide to grow your brows back and you're going to sit there and look like a little hairy beast for nine to ten weeks you could do this for yourself so um, I was going to fly out there even talk to the girls like Gina and Mimi I was like we should meet up and have lunch and I'm gonna fly back home well one day while trolling and I say trolling because I was like stalking her page because I was so anxious. I was on Kelly's page and I saw that she had a contest going to submit where you were from, why, um, you know, you wanted to get your brows done by her. And I was like, oh, I need to do this. And I hated that I had to put like my troll out brows and I'll insert the picture here. But I needed her to see that this was like something major for me like this was like legit like going to be life changing for me might sound dramatic to a lot of you guys but if you have had the struggle with the brows or like the plucking disorder like you know where I'm coming from so I entered and I was really anxious and a lot of people like it really got a lot of likes versus my other pictures and a lot of people are like you got this you got this and I was like if I win or not I'm still going to drive down there and have her do my brows because they just need to be you know bomb after they've gone through the whole Harry B stage. So I waited about a week and a half, I want to say, and then Kelly uh, inboxed me and she goes, no, she she commented on one of my pictures and she said, check your inbox. And I was like, so I checked it and I won and I ran and I told my husband, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was so freaking excited. And she said that one of her guys would be in touch with me the next day. This is over Thanksgiving weekend, okay? So... And the next morning, I believe it was Brian called me and he talked to me. He's like, you have to come out here this weekend. I'm like, it's Thanksgiving weekend. So I had no choice but to drag my husband out there with me. 
So Saturday night, we get in the car and we take off to California. Her um, salon is in Venice. So Sunday, we get the call, you know, of the time and all that to come in. So we drive over and this was going to be it. Like, it was, it was like really nerve wracking, but I was calm at the same time. But I was just like anxious. Like it was like built up emotions. I was just like, oh my God, what are my brows going to look like? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film in there because Kelly was filming for, I believe it's for her website. So the whole experience was filmed by Kelly and I'm hoping that it'll go up on her website. And if I ever do find it, then I'll link it down below so you guys can see it or I'll repost or something. So we get there and this is like the whole experience. I've never met Kelly before. And like the people, you know, like Jose and Brian, they were super sweet, you know, um, talk me through the whole thing and tell me what was pretty much was what was going to go down is what I'm trying to say. So we go up there and I walk in and Kelly's just standing there and I'm just like, hi. So we walk in, we greet her and, um, you have lights and everything at this point. I'm just like, oh my God, this is really going to happen. So, um, you know, my husband kind of like snuck a picture or two and then it was time for me to get my brows done so I went and hopped onto the chair and she's like are you nervous and I'm just like I was nervous but I was excited so it kind of like was like they were fighting each other I couldn't be too excited I couldn't be too nervous because they were just like wrestling they're like my little demons inside of me were wrestling so you know I laid back and she started doing my brows and it was just very like comforting you know she she was very talking to me and just uh very soothing i wasn't nervous and then she explained to me that when she waxed i might break out because i hadn't been waxed before and you know we went over the whole story of what happened with the brows so we were talking the whole time she was doing my brows she's talking to me and i told her that she is the first person that has ever done my brows and when i mean like i'm anal about my brows i make jokes and uh I've mentioned to like my husband and my daughter, I'm like, when I die, my brows better look good. You make sure that you hire somebody that does my brows or else I'm going to come and yank your legs. Like, I am so anal. I used to spend like 30 minutes on my brows. Like, I can't express how anal I am about my brows. Like, nobody could touch my brows. Like, for my wedding, somebody else did my brow, my makeup and I did my brows. Like, nobody is allowed to touch my brows. So I told her that. When she was doing my brows, she was telling me, she told the guys first that they was taking a little longer because my brows were um, difficult. The brows that I have are very coarse and thick and they have big gaps in between. Some people have fuller brows to where they just like lay over and fill in. Mine are so um, spaced out and thick and they like won't lay down. So she like cut them in a way that they were like tapered. It was crazy. When I saw my brows, I was shocked. Like she trimmed them and she's a perfectionist. Like she threw that out there. How, you know, she has to make sure that lines are straight. She has a thing for that. So she had to make sure that everything was waxed right and plucked right and just looked perfect. So after she was done, and I want to say, I mean, I, I, don't, I honestly don't know, but I want to say maybe after like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, roughly, she finished and then she gives me the mirror and they get all set up because, you know, obviously they're recording. They want to get my, my like facial expressions as I see my brows and my husband came over and peeked and he was like, oh, they look nice. Like I had seen work that she does on her Instagram before and afters, but I just could not envision whatsoever what my brows were going to look like so I tried to but I just couldn't so when she set me up I grabbed the mirror and had looked and I started crying like I couldn't even talk like uh, hopefully she has the clip and it goes up soon because I literally everybody was just like staring at me and I looked like a freaking weirdo but I was crying I like looked at my brows and could not believe my freaking brows what she did is the way that she shaped those brows and they look completely different right now because I can't trim them and do them like she can but the way she shaped waxed and tapered cut my brows and then she filled them in it looked like I had natural hair throughout the whole brow because she stroked it or did something. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, even I told her, I'm like, I can't explain. Like, I never imagined that my brows would look this bomb. Like, it was ridiculous the way that my brows looked. And you guys will be seeing pictures of it. So I cried. And finally, you know, I was like, oh. she's like, do you like them? I'm like, yes. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, I was like just shocked and blown away by how amazing my brows looked. So 
Um, after she was done, she's like, you know, I, uh, she felt like a little bit of pressure, she said, because um, this was my first experience and everything. So it kind of got her little nerves a little worked up. But in the end, I was just so freaking like happy and excited with the results. And like, I just, I couldn't like express the amount of happiness that was in my little body. So then we finished up. And then, of course, the minute I get into the car, I just like, start taking pictures and it was dark it was late and my eyeballs are red so I'm gonna give you a heads up right now that my eyeballs because we drove home after that it was like two or three in the morning when we got home and I took pictures because I wanted you guys to see what the brows look like like the day that she did them so they're little t-zones probably a little oily I'm gonna tell you right now but I just wanted to capture those images because obviously in the car it was dark so as soon as I got home I put on my ring light got a good camera and I was snapping away just so you guys can see the shape obviously the makeup's like a little faded and stuff but you guys will get the idea so um pretty much it was just an awesome experience her staff was freaking amazing I mean the guys the crew people that were filming her assistant I believe I don't uh, Brian I think is her assistant or something like that and then Jose and I mean Kelly herself like she is and I'm not just saying this to say it like she literally is so sweet and down to earth makes you feel so comfortable she just feels like one of your girlfriends you don't feel like you know when you go somewhere and like you feel a little like uncomfortable when you're getting something done she you're just like just chilled like it's a very comforting um um, shop <laughs> like area or or experience just having your brows done by her and a lot of people were like loving the brows and wanted some information about her you know salon I know that Kelly works only certain days of the week and she does get booked up really quickly so if you guys are interested in that I'm going to link her website down below in her number I'm not going to list prices because I don't know if that can change and I don't want to give you incorrect you know information um, when you get your brows done by a professional like Kelly and she shapes them to where all you're going to do after that is kind of just keep them clean as, as things come out you just pluck them like when you get your brows done and shaped that's all you need like that's it it's like a one-time thing obviously you need them trimmed but she is going to shape your brows to where you don't have to like put in much work. I just recently did a video because I'm using this new product to where I just did one of my brows in like under a minute and that was never the case. So your brows are shaped already and done up the way they should be. All you're going to do is if you need like a little bit of fill like around this area here, powder or pomade or whatever it is that you use, that's all you need to do is like feather it in and boom, you're done. So it's, it's better to pay um, a little more to get something done the right way than to end up with missing eyebrows or uh, over plucked eyebrows or if you thread your eyebrows. I've heard many horror stories about threading eyebrows. Um, then you have to wait a whole bunch of freaking time, like weeks and weeks for your eyebrows to grow back and then you're going to regret it. So I honestly, and I know, I know not everybody has, you know, a lot of money to spend on makeup or going to get your brows done. But if you do, just save up and go see Kelly. I'm telling you guys, she is the best. And you all know that when I love something or someone or a product, I tell you, like, this is something that I can give you my word on. Like, you will not regret it. Kelly does an amazing job. And I just, hands down, just say she's the best. Like, I, I don't care what anybody else says. I'm just saying she is the best, not only for her work, but for her humble down to earth you know personality and how sweet she is she's like t um kept in touch you know she'll message me or comment on pictures saying my brows look good and i mean not everybody does that you know so it's very sweet of her so i definitely if you guys are in the la area of coming out to LA for some reason or coming out like I'm in LA because you're going out to LA call ahead of time and book an appointment with Kelly so like that when you guys come in you know for whatever you're doing in California you can get your brows done and be on fleek with those brows I hate that word but your eyebrows will definitely be on fleek if Kelly does your brows um the whole experience and the eyebrow growing and everything was totally worth it I mean my brows might not be perfect for everybody else, but I did make the mistake of tattooing my brows, so I still have to conceal stuff, and it sucks, but it's a lesson that I had to learn the hard way, unfortunately. If there is one thing I can tell you guys is do not ever, and I mean never tattoo your eyebrows. It is like the biggest mistake of my life. I have read like 
eyebrow ink that you guys will see here in a second. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you to your staff. You guys were all amazing. And I'm hoping I can get my brows trimmed by you soon. Because the trimming that I've been doing is... <laughs> little cray cray but I was trying to taper them the other day like at an angle yesterday I think I was like trying to cut them but so that's pretty much it you guys if you do have any questions leave them down below go check out Kelly's Instagram and her web page and everything so you guys can get a little more info if you're looking into having your brows done by her um, tell her I sent you I definitely recommend um, going to Kelly I'm just a very happy pleased customer so Kelly thank you again for you know the giveaway and having me come out there and you hooking my eyebrows up I think that's it guys um, this video is longer than expected I hope that I covered everything I think I did um, so everything's down below I will see you guys later bye so here is my brow before I started and then underneath is a little bit of growth this is the morning of when I went to go see Kelly this is what my brows look like here I am <laughs> waiting anxiously and here's Kelly doing her magic this is right after she finished my brows and this was like a snapchat picture and I was just snapping away and it was dark and I didn't have my camera so this is all on my phone but you guys can see how greatly shaped and filled they are this is after I got home of you know driving a long drive so they're oily and faded but it's also bright so the lights washing out like the powdered colors you guys can see how beautiful and shaped and just like the whole thing is just like perfect this is a front shot of it this is um, the next morning with no product in the brows this is a side and then you guys can see the tattoo part there and then here we have like the before and after nine weeks and everything so you guys get an idea and here's Kelly. <laughs>